This is the John Smith Silver Cup listed handicap. It's over a mile and six. It's a 0 to 110 for three year olds and up. Hector Eclipse for Davy Ladd, Dishy Feline for D. Thompson, Tarson Key for C. Beckwith, Roses Deco for James Shea, Vogard for Paul Rhodes, Voodoo Doll for Django, Winx for Dan Hughes, Column Seal Dark for Steve Ran, Kuiping Scrap for Vinnie Gerard, Papatia for Martin Leedham, Sydney Carleon for Pontypool, Sangar McGee for T. Rogers, and 12 go to post for the John Smith's Silver Cup. And they're off. Good start from Papatea and Tartan Key, who now goes out in front. Roses Deco on the near side. On the far side on the rail is Dish Feline. Vogart for Paul Rhodes is also pushing through. And they start to settle down. It's Dishy Feline who is going to take this up from Vogart. Voodoo Doll on the rail. Winks, Papatea and Hector Eclipse are also together. Just behind them is Roses Deco. Um, Tarson Key is starting to push back up on the rail with Sydney Kelly on wide outside is Column Seal Dark. Then you've got Kuiping Scrap and Sangart McGee. As Vogart takes it up until Dishy Feline pulls back alongside, these two are neck and neck. And in third, we have Winks, Hector Eclipse, Column Seal Dark, Papatia on the rail with Voodoo Doll. Rose Deco and then a group of four at the back headed by Sydney Kelly on Kuiping Scrap out wide, Tarson Key and Sangar McGee. Dizzy Feline back in front by about two, maybe three lengths now and increasing as Vogart has put the brakes on to allow Dizzy Feline to push out in front. And Dizzy Feline is galloping around the far bend and making an easy way home of this so far it's Dishy Feline from Bogart Rose Deco Sydney Kerleon has pushed up into fourth Winks Papatia Hector Eclipse in the line again Voodoo Dole on the rail Tarzan Key on the outside of Columbus Silk Dark Sangar McGee on the rail and Kuiping Scrap at the back for Vinny Gerard approaching the six furlong pole it's Dishy Feline still and it's Papatia for Martin Leader who's pushed up second but Vogar has now decided to take that position back with Rose's Deco on the outside and Vogar is starting to speed up Hector and Eclipse is trying to round them around the outside into the final fur five furlongs Dishy Feline is still in front and being pushed along as Rose's Deco tries to pull alongside of Hector and Eclipse Papatea, Vogar, Sydney Kerleon Tartan Key just in behind those, Voodoo Doll being ridden along on the rail, Winks on the outside and at the back all being ridden along, Column Seal Dark, Kuiping Scrap and Sangar McGee. As they go into the final three furlongs it's still Dizzy Feline out in front but there's plenty in behind ready to have a pop. Voodoo Doll has made from the ground come off the rail and has come around the outside of all of them to try and lay it down to Dizzy Feline who's still in front. It's Dizzy Feline from Voodoo Doll, Winks is also staying off on the back. As Dishy Feline and Voodoo Doll are making a good way home. Vogar in the middle starting to try and get back into this with Winks. Then it's Voodoo Doll into the final final. Voodoo Doll is in front. Dishy Feline on the rail. Vogar is picking up for Paul Rhodes. Winks is also there for Dan Hughes. It's Vogar now who takes it up. Going deep into the final furlong. Vogar is going to win for Paul Rhodes. Winks in second. I uh, can't remember who was third, I've lost it there, but it's a good win for Paul Rhodes and Vogart, who sat off the leaders and hit the button when it was necessary. 66 to 1 for a Paul Rhodes horse, you don't see that very often. Vogart picks it up nicely. Winx was in second, and I believe it might have been Voodoo Doll in third. Vogart wins for Paul Rhodes 66 to 1. Winx was second for Dan Hughes. Voodoo Doll, the four year old, was third for Django. Dishy Feline was fifth for D. Thompson.